Do you have a large wall in your home that needs to be decorated? These five tips will give you design ideas and help you know where to start. Hey everyone, I'm Coral and welcome to my channel. Here you'll find practical tips for a home you'll love. Today I'm going to share with you interior design tips for how to decorate a large wall in your home. When my husband and I moved into this house from our apartment, I really struggled with decorating the walls and kind of designing the space. We have 11 foot walls in our home, so not only were we coming from a small apartment, we were coming to a house with enormous walls that I had to fill. I didn't have a lot of experience with doing this, so over a year and a half of decorating a lot of these walls, it's really helped me understand what you need to do in order to decorate a large wall space. So whether you're moving from an apartment to a house, you're moving from a smaller house to a bigger house, or you just have a large empty wall that needs to be decorated, these five tips will help you get started. Tip number one is to use a large mirror. Mirrors make a room feel bigger and brighter because they are reflecting the light. You could use a large framed mirror that hangs on a wall or you could use a leaning mirror that would sit on the floor and lean up against the wall. You can pair them with a bench or a chair or a table. We have a mirror on the wall off to the side of our living room that I've paired with a console table. Mirrors can also look great above a couch and a lot of times you can find these at discount home decor stores or a Goodwill or an antique store. If you find one that has a frame that you don't like, you can always paint it in order to change it. Tip number two is to use shelves. Floating shelves are a nice, easy way to add decor to a wall or to display a collection of items. You can use shelves to create a vignette a vignette is a collection of items that you gather together in order to create a nice focal point. I did this with shelves in our bathroom. We had a big empty wall and I wanted to make it look nice, so I added a few signs, a framed picture, and faux plants. All of those objects are things that I talk about in my video, top five budget friendly ways to decorate your home. I will link that down below if you want to check it out. All of those items are a great way to create a vignette on your shelves and fill an empty wall. We also use shelves to fill a large wall in my husband's office. He decided that he wanted to decorate his office with his favorite albums, so we bought floating shelves in order to display his collection of albums behind his desk. My next tip is to create a gallery wall. A gallery wall is a collection of pictures or art. Oftentimes they are in frames, so you would take framed pictures and put them in a collection on your wall, or you can do prints, or canvases. I have one spot in our home where I created a small gallery wall with all pictures from our wedding. I bought all of the frames at At Home, which is a discount home decor store, so you can find frames for a reasonable price and create a gallery wall. Another option for creating a gallery wall with prints is to use a app that creates photo tiles for you. I have some back here in my background and I did a whole video review on these mixed tiles and I will also link that video down below if you're interested and want to check that out. My next tip is to pair or cluster decor. So this is similar to a gallery wall. It's the same kind of idea except using frames or canvases or prints. You can do it with any type of decor. I like to take various different decor items and cluster them together on the wall to make a little collection. I did this in our entryway. I bought a very large wood sign and it just wasn't enough for that huge wall so I paired it with a wreath and it filled out the space really nicely. I also did this in our dining room. I got a large custom sign made and again it wasn't enough to cover that large wall so I bought sconces I bought these ones at Kirkland's and I paired them with the sign on each side and put some LED candles in them sconces are another great way to pair decor and an easy way to just 
add something extra to a picture or a sign. I also did this on the wall across from our dining room, kind of in our entryway. I paired a couple signs and small decor together to fill up a larger space. for decorating a large wall is to use oversized decor. Oversized decor pieces can take up a large space on your wall with just one piece. So it's nice because you don't have to collect a bunch of different things to add them on the wall. You just have one big piece that gets put on the wall and takes up this space. Large wall clocks are a great example of this. These look great above the mantle or a couch. You can also use large canvas pieces or prints and large metal or wood pieces that are a little bit more industrial looking are also a popular item right now. We have something similar above our mantle. I found a really big piece that is wood and metal and it's perfect to go above our mantle because it is just one piece of decor that defines the space and catches your eye. So to recap our five tips for decorating a large wall, we have use a large mirror, floating shelves, create a gallery wall, cluster decor items, and utilize oversized decor pieces. Take one or a few of these tips to decorate or revamp your large empty wall. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it helps you create a home you'll love. Just for watching today's video, I have a special free printable for you to help decorate your home on a budget. Just click on the first link down in the description below and that will take you to a page where I ask for your name and email address. Just pop in your name and email, that way I know where to send it. If you did enjoy today's video, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up down below. Also, comment below and let me know, do you have any other tips for decorating a large wall? If you haven't already, click that subscribe button and hit the bell, that way you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.